Hi everybody, I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be doing the glacier slash cracked eyes nail tutorial that I've been promising for a long time. These type of acrylic nails are sculpted, so you're gonna have to use a form and you can find them on eBay or Amazon. So for this process, we're gonna be using kitchen foil. Just crumble it up and uncrumble it, and then cut a little rectangle or an oval shape to attach it to the nail. And make sure you add a little bit of cuticle oil to the top of the foil only, so you can detach it easily. You can use tape to secure the sides of the foil. So to get the stained glass look, I'm using Yon Nails Liquid R Drops, and again, you can find them on their website, eBay or Amazon. If you want to achieve the pink stained glass look, you can just use food coloring like I did for my thumbnail picture. You can just find food coloring drops or any supermarket. I went and I tried it out, but the only thing I have to say about that is that the pink ones are the only ones that work. Just proportionally mix the drops and the monomer and use clear acrylic to achieve the stained glass look. I am now adding my cover pink and I'm using CND Warm Pink and uh, throughout this whole process I have been using my number 10 German Kalinske brush like always. If you need to at this time that you have your nail bed completed, you can go ahead and perfection your smile line. I am now using my number 6 German Kalinske art brush and I'm adding a little bit of glitter and a little bit of chunky glitter as well to make that nail pop. <laughs> Before you encapsulate, make sure you remove any extra glitter, unwanted glitter, or anything unwanted on your nail. So I am now encapsulating the nail with my number 14 German Kalinske brush, as always, again. And just follow the steps. By the way, to encapsulate, I am using Clear Polymer by CND. Don't forget to check your stress points so your nail doesn't break. At this point, you can detach the form. Now that the nail is dry, we're going to be filing and shaping and all that good stuff to perfection our nail. Oops. Now that my nail is back on the finger, I'm going to be wiping the surface to cleanse the surface and I'm using Lee Chad Nail Preparation Solution, like always, and you can use the one of your choice. I am now going to be adding my gel top coat and I'm using OPI axiom or axiom however it is pronounced and I'm just going to cure this nail for three minutes afterwards So now your nail should look like this. The stained glass now looks purple in this lighting. I was trying to get the cracked eyes effect to show with my lens. And by the way, let me know how you like this quality because I did invest in a brand new camera to help you guys out. And I'm so excited about it because so far I love the quality.
If you decide to try this look, make sure you hashtag the nails queen on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook so I can see your version of the nail I did. So let me know how that goes. Love you guys and thanks for watching.